Hi, hello, and welcome to this module. In this section, we're going to just talk about SACWA. What is SACWA's mission? What does it do? And the various functions that fall under SACWA. Let's look at SACWA's mission. It says, to ensure the development and implementation of a national qualifications framework, which contributes to the full development of each learner and to the social and economic development of the nation at large. So we're going to, in this video, look at how SACWA executes that particular mandate, who does it report to, and when we talk about these particular functions, what does SACWA do? So let's begin with the first one. SACWA, the board of SACWA, is actually appointed by the Minister of Education. The SACWA is a statutory body, and therefore the minister has oversight, and SACWA has to report to the minister in terms of its mandate. So SACWA is responsible for a number of functions, and you will see all of these functions in this diagram under the house and all of the functions that it has, and we will go through to e each of these functions. This diagram itself, the house, the picture of the house, is taken from the SACWA website. So let's look at the first one, the registration of qualifications. So all qualifications in this country, irrespective of which quality council it falls under, is forwarded to SACWA under a specific format and then SACWA verifies, checks these qualifications, and then registers them on the NQL. Obviously, they'll be pegged, and the NQF registers them on the SACWA, and you'll be able to find it on the SACWA website. So that's its registration process on qualifications. The second one is the verification of um, the NQ, the national qualification. So what does that mean? So you must have heard about um, employers checking to see if learners have a particular qualification that they say they do. So they want to verify the learners' qualifications. And to do that, they will go to SACWA, and SACWA will then check up on the NLRD, the National Learner Record Database, to see if that particular learner has the qualifications that they claimed or wrote down on their particular CV. So how does that information actually get to SACWA? Because you studied at a university, it could have been five years ago, and you had no recollection of how your information went. So what happens is an accredited training provider, part of his responsibility is to forward the results of all the learners that were found competent on their qualifications to the quality assurance body that accredited them. The quality assurance body then will be able to send that information through to SACWA through their what they call the EDUDEX system. That's how your information, no matter which private provider or public provider that you studied in, has or would have forwarded that information to the National Learner Record Database. So what is the Learn National Learner Record Database? This database is managed by SACWA um, based on, its, on, on the NQF, and in order to carry out its mandate on the NQF, it provides an opportunity for learners to verify qualifications, as well as check providers who's accredited, and all of that information is available on the Re learner record database. So back on the uh, information then, SACWA then is responsible for the registration of qualifications and for the verification of qualifications on the NLRD. And to do this, any employer wanting to verify, there's a document that needs to be filled out and it's completed and forwarded to SACWA. I think these all, their costs attached. Offhand, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm sure you'll be able to get those costs off the SACWA website. And uh, you submit that and there's a waiting period um, to, and then that information is actually forwarded to you. So those are the first two little windows in the house. Now let's go on to the next one that looks at the evaluation of foreign qualifications. 
So this particular one, the evaluation of foreign qualifications, um, if a, someone comes from another uh, country and comes into South Africa and seeks employment in South Africa, and in order to do that, they want their qualification recognized, SACWA offers the service of looking at that qualification and pegging it on our national NQF in order for that person's qualification to be given uh, its value within South Africa itself. And that process is uh, defined here as the evaluation of foreign qualifications. So let's go further within the functions of SACWA and look at the arrow that points on the recognition of professional bodies. So in every sector, if there are professional bodies that are interested um, in providing that designations within that particular industry, they would apply to SACWA to recognize them as professional bodies. Once the or part of that process of recognition as a professional body, um, the body needs to complete an application process of which requires them to have designations within that particular sector to which it seeks to be a professional body. And those designations are recognized by SACWA. So if you look at the bottom two windows, it says recognition of professional bodies, as well as recognition of professional designations. So if you belong to a particular industry that has a professional body and you register with that professional body, you can be rest assured that those designations are, are validated by SACWA itself. So if we look further, SACWA also has oversight over the quality councils and the quality council's responsibility is a host uh, of responsibilities falling within the quality assurance role. Now that's a really an intense discussion and we will discuss the role of SACWA and the quality councils in a separate video. If you'd like to locate that, if you can go onto the Institute for Quality YouTube channel and within that you would find two other videos that are offshoot of this particular one. The one is on the quality councils and the other is on the NQF and discussing the whole national qualifi qualifications framework and all the bodies that make up that qualifications framework. I thank you for listening.